Well, g'day everybody. Today we are having a look at Rias 2. Now, I know some of you will pronounce that different, but I'm pronouncing it Rias. It could be Reyes, it could be Roos, it could be whatever you want, whatever you want. I'm not sure what the devs call it. It's developed by Abbey Games and it's published by Fire Squid. Thank you very much, Fire Squid, for sending a key through to the channel. This was released on the 28th of May 2024 and uh, it's available for you to uh, purchase now. Um, it's uh, currently 10% off, so um, check that out. There will be a link below. Uh, it is a, a GOG game, a colony sim, a city builder. And uh, as a god, you've created four elements to uh, to help shape Earth and inspire humans to to build and to create and to grow. Um, <clears throat> we're going to get straight into a new game, and uh, and we're going to check out the uh, the tutorial and stuff as well. So um, hopefully um, we can work through the tutorial and see what the game's all about. Choose a human spirit that will seed the destiny of this planet. So we've got the sage. The sage uh, wants to take care of its people and tribe. Food is the base of a healthy population. We get all plants gain plus 20 food. We've got the inventor. The people led by the inventor are creative and ingenious, always looking for science. We get plus 40% if biotica is unique in a biome. Hmm. We have the goddess. The goddess thinks the world revolves around her. Maybe even the whole universe is <laughs> so being married. <laughs> Particularly interesting gold. Uh, Biotica within the goodness city border gained plus 50% food, science, and gold. Um, so the, okay, cool. I think, I think we're going to go, I think we might start, let's start with the sage, shall we? Uh, ready to start humanity. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we've got to uh, we've got our giants, and our giants are um, are what help to create the biomes. So this is nature, obviously, uh, ocean, and the rock giant. So it creates different biomes on the planet. Now you're not limited to just one planet when you're doing this. You do expand. So um, let's get stuck straight into create there's a uh, obviously a free play mode as well as the tutorial quest so let's create the planet and off we go rius 2 and, and here they are <laughs> fancy people with their leaves first steps settle a city so to settle a city below select select terraform planet create biome note that every giant can place a different type of biome select the area for the biome Click the Nomad to start settling. Okay, cool. Uh, and settle the Nomad in your new biome. So uh, let's create a plant biome. Uh, actually, let's go back. Let's go out of that. Well, we do want to create a plant biome, don't we? Uh, terraform the planet. Okay. Create a biome here with one of your... There we go. Okay, move the mouse to drag a range. Right-click to cancel. So if we create... Let's start with... Let's start with that for now. Yeah, let's start with that. And our nature giant, because we are God, will create... A biome related to that. Now you can see the entire planet that we've got to work with and to create different biomes. Different biomes do different things. But we'll learn that as we go through. Choose a location for these nomads to settle. We want them to settle here. Lovely. Okay, what's this? They're going to go over and settle. And there they are. A, uh, oh. Big Dale Garden, left click to inspect. Okay, so we've got uh, one one food. We've got, uh, what's that? One technology of the city. And we've got gold as well. All right, cool. Bio Biotica, spend five to, to place a, uh, what are they, I wonder? Place a Bioticum. Okay, how do we do that? How do we spend five to replace it? 
Spice of Bioticum. Uh, I'm guessing in here. That's an empty slot. Uh, create a plant. What does a plant do? Um, create a plant bioticum. Plants generally yield food or science. Placing a new biome passes five. Replacing passes ten. Uh, costs one. Let's do. Uh, Ash will. Well, Ash will give us science output. Let, let's do food for starters. Let's place some food in here. And what you'll find as well. What are these up here? Biodiversity is required to place more exclusive and stronger biotica. Uh, every distinct biotica presents uh, a present in this biome adds plus one. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Sage settlement uh, request. Complete the city's request. Activate a symbiosis on a body. Let's. Uh, what do we? What do we need to do here? To help the city, give it resources it needs. Note that cities can only use biotica when uh, within their borders. Okay. So we've got wealth, technology, and population. All right, cool. Uh, a symbiosis is a condition that makes a biotica much more valuable. Using these symbioses, uh, symbioses is the key to a great planet. Examples are ocean, the clownfish needs a sea an anemone, uh, forest, the slope needs a critter like the rabbit, and desert, um, the droba needs a mineral. So we really want to do a, we want to do a rabbit, don't we? How do we do that? Um, oh, what's this over here? Select the patch, move the giant here. Okay. We can, we can actually add that as our, as a little bit of a biome as well. Uh, so our city quest is to have three population, which means we need more food. So let's, uh, let's, let's just terraform this. And then he can uh, add that. There we go. Lovely. Just to make it a little bit bigger, because uh, we only have these slots to do stuff, so... What we probably want to do now is we probably want to put in a little bit more food. Hopefully next to there. And let's place a forest right there. Okay, so we've created 15 Eon. Uh, so we've got 15 Eon. This, this is... <laughs> Everybody's really happy. Everybody's super happy. We've got science. They, they love their forest. Fantastic. Um, so it says activate a symbiote. How do we How do we do that? How do we actually activate that? The forest needs a critter like a rabbit. If we click there. Free construction. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's see, the inventor. The people led by the inventor are creative and ingenious, always looking for science. Uh, the merchant. So we've got to choose a new tribe. The merchant believes in progress through trade, having enough gold around is paramount. Let's call the inventor. There we go. So we'll call the choose a location for these nomads to settle. Well, the first thing that we actually want to do is we want to create ourselves a new biome. Uh, and I think what we might do is we might create a desert biome, shall we? I think so. Let's create a desert biome through here, like so. There we go. Desert biome is created. Let's click on here for them to settle. A location is too close to another city center. Okay, so it's got to be it's got to be a fair way away, but that's perfectly fine. So we've got two different biomes now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I need to. <laughs> he's very, he's very happy, isn't he? I need to work out how to um in here. I need to work out how to. Uh, Finish more planets to unlock this feature. Okay, cool. Uh, there we go. Inventor settlement. They have three technology. So that's here. All right, beautiful. 
unlock the Apex Biotica are much stronger than regular Biotica. You must unlock them through drafts. Use your draft charge to initiate a draft in the top of the screen. Go through the draft process to unlock the Apex Biotica. Uh, also unlocks the set of Cohort Biotica, giving extra options. Okay. And the Symbiosis... Wonder, I'm, I'm still wondering how we do the symbiosis. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. At, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's have a look at what we can do here then. Um, use your draft charge. So where is our draft charge? That would be a good thing to know, wouldn't it? First thing that we want to do anyway, do we actually have a, a mineral here? Mineral booster. So if we actually were to put minerals down here, we could put redstone or we could put quartz. Output of five. Garden plus 15 plus five gold if adjacent to a plant biodicum. Uh, an output of 20. Let's throw some... Let's throw some quartz in there. I'm guessing these... <laughs> That's such a satisfying coin sound. That is such a satisfying coin sound. <laughs> They're happy because they've got coins. Look at that. There we go. Okay. Uh, skeptic. I'm just having a look at... I'm uh, just having a squiz at some of this. Inventions. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we go. So Apex Burger can much stronger. Yep. Use your draft charge to initiate. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out what my draft charge is. It's right there. Drafts. Here we go. Desert draft. Draft desert. Uh, limestone or lapis. Fifteen if adjacent to gem bioticum. Uh, animal bioticum. Rattlesnake. Uh, plus ten adjacent to critter bioticum. And size, we want a fan, we want fan palm, right? I think. It's probably the way to go. It looks like they've created a little camp down here as well. Cool. Um, so if we, <coughs> excuse me. No, we don't want to do another one of those. Let's have a look at that output of 30. So we can place uh we can place micros there as well. Okay, cool, cool. Uh let's see, what are we gonna do now? Uh it's saying to place the apex bioticum, the hosting biome needs enough biodiversity. How much biodiversity the apex needs? Alright, cool. Alright, so we need biodiversity on here. Alright. Which is which is fine. So let's uh let's maybe add a little bit of rock to here. Not enough biodiversity to play. Oh, okay, to place limestone. Add more more distinct biotica. Okay, cool. Well, we can we can probably do that. We'll probably add some uh, add some rocks in here. I think. There we go. Now, uh, how much do we actually have? You can invest gain stats to obtain unique resources. That's pretty cool. Do we want these guys to have three technology? At the moment, they've only got one of three. So to increase our technology, uh, we need to increase our science, don't we? So we could... Uh, I don't think we have enough of this. Uh, you've got to re be really careful of what you place down here as well. So the redstone will... Uh, uh, if it's adjacent to a plant, Bioticum, it gives us plus 15 and plus 5. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't... Uh, mossy Stone, you can. Mossy Agate, so if adjacent to a plant, Bioticum. Is a Mossy Stone a plant got Bioticum? It can only be placed in a forest. We should actually put that over here. There we go. <laughs> don't you, don't you love the giants, though? Don't you absolutely love the giants? So it looks like um you can use different um 
Uh, different gods can place different stuff, and you can see that that's giving us a uh, bit of a bonus because it's close to a blueberry, so... There we go. Lovely. All right. Cool, cool. So what else can we do over here? We need to look at what we can do over here for now. Uh, let's see. Output. Uh, now, if a redstone is placed near a plant by Odicum, you get plus... Can we do that over here? Only placed in the savannah. Yeah, okay, cool. But we could place... If adjacent to a plant, we can get plus five gold for that. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we need to increase our food over here as well, don't we? Um, hmm... I'm going to add another one of those there. Now we can place this uh, adjacent to a bioticum. Okay. What have we got here? Sea and enemies. We've got sagebrush. Uh, output of 10. Barren. Counts as an empty slot. Okay, so we could put that in, and that'll also give us, uh, that'll give us an output of 10 for that. Uh, that'll give us plus 15 if it's adjacent to a bioticum with base gold. That's a base gold, so if we can place that there, then that's going to get a bonus. That's going to get a bonus from both of those, and then that there is going to get a bonus as well, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got kind of a double bonus there as well, which is fantastic. There we go. That's uh, keeping people happy, and our technology has gone up. Who are these people? Oh, they're new, they're new settlers. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we, we did. Okay, so our technology did go up. So placing Apex Biotica. To place Apex Bioticum, uh, the hosting biome needs enough biodiversity. Okay, so at the moment, we've, I think we're at the moment we've only got one in regards to... Uh, we've, we've got new settlers as well. Can you settle people... Can you settle people in water? Let's uh, let's create ourselves a new biome. Let's create ourselves a new ocean biome here and see what we can get out of that. That'll be really interesting just to see what uh, the ocean biome does. Here comes our big crab. Here comes our big crab. My daughter scoots along sideways and keeps telling me she's doing the crab. Okay, so that's ocean. What can we do in the ocean? We've got empty slots. Uh, so we've, we can... Uh, I'm not sure whether we can actually... Um, I'm not actually sure whether we can actually... Uh, have somebody living in the... The Pirate Queen, Adventurous... Uh, the Pirate Queen loves the high seas and gold. The Huntress is always looking for, for a, a quarry or a companion to live from the wilds of the land. Let's, uh, let's call the Pirate Queen. Choose the location. Doesn't look like we can have this location. So, let's, uh, let's actually pirate settlement. Have three wealth. Let's actually create a, uh, let's create a new biome over here. There we go. There we go. Lovely. We'll get that created. And then we'll probably put our pirate queen over there. So that's our settlers there. We've got two different types of settlers that we can have in there. So let's see if we can get this, uh, get this area done.
Lovely, lovely. Now, Pirate Queen really wants to be, uh, really wants to be, um, you can settle over here. Right on the edge, uh, just here. Just here will do. Lovely. So she wants to have, so their goal is to have plus three wealth. So what we need to place in this biome here is uh, as much as we can wealth wise. Um, we also need to, probably we're kind of running out of room here. So we, we, we kind of need stuff to, to give us extra, um, we need stuff that gives us, uh, that gives us extra biodiversity in here. Is there a, is there a, um, hmm, kelp, output of 10, <gasps> really? Output of 10, plus 1, we probably want to put this over here. Ah, uh, okay, so it probably, it probably needs to go, sagebush can only be placed in desert, can't place anything outside of there, but we could put sage bush here if we wanted to. There we go, and that's going to give us a, another plus one. We now have three over here. Uh, here. <laughs> there we go. I like the fact that uh, I like the fact that each of your um, uh, each of your giants can. Uh, <laughs> they're talking like sims i love the fact that each of you see that's getting a bonus from there as well which is fantastic um each of your giants can actually place different things inside different uh inside different areas so and uh, now we want to place a an apex biotica so biodicum biodicum it says placing apex biotica to place the apex biodicum the hosting biome needs enough biodiversity. Uh, desert is or already maxed, inspired by human creativity. Okay, okay. I'm just, uh, I'm just wondering how to put, uh, how to put an apex biodicum in. But we do need to see what's going on with our settlement over here. It's a, <laughs> it's a pirate settlement. Uh, we probably also need to, uh, I think, add some. That gives you 10. And that gives you food output. If we place that, can't place it outside city territory. So we kind of, uh, we kind of need to expand our, our territory, don't we? At the moment. All right, what have we got over here? Uh, bonus slot for a gold booster. Let's let's check what we can do here. What's going to give us gold? Um, we need something that's going to give us gold. Redstone. I don't think we can put redstone in here. I don't think we can put corpse in here. It can only be placed in desert. Yeah, I thought so. So what's going to give us... We should have put our pirates in the desert. <clears throat> um, all right. 15 and that. Well, what, we're going to need to put some food in here anyway. That's a, Is that out, That's outside city territory. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Let's throw that in here and see if we can actually uh, sort of expand this settlement and get some stuff happening here. We need to increase wealth, which means... Because that's a plus 50% gold booster. There we go. They're quite happy because they've got food now. So what could we put into... Uh, What could we put in to increase our gold output? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, apple. 
Plus 15 for each different adjacent biodicum, animal, plant, or mineral. Let's unlock that, shall we? There we go, lovely. All right, so that's uh, that's going to give us some other stuff to mess with. So that gives us plus 10. Uh, if adjacent to at least two plant biotica, it gives us... Uh, oh, it gives us plus one, but it gives us 10 extra science. All right, that's cool. What else did we unlock in there? Hmm. I don't think we can put that in because it's got to go into a dent. A dead. I was going to say a dentist then because it's got to go into... Here we go, fish. Let's throw some fish in there. I want, I do wonder how you can expand the city or whether the city actually expands itself. They're hesitant at the moment. Inventions and trade routes. So there's going to, there's trading between them. Uh, extra five coins plus two mystery within borders. Okay, so there's some, um, there's some bonus, uh, some bonuses that the uh, pirate queen has. So this, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, and I would absolutely and utterly love to nut it out a little bit more. I would like to know how we expand our, uh, how we actually expand our territory, and I'm guessing it's by leveling up. So at the moment, our territory here finishes there. So what are we going to do here? Let's have a look. Um, what do we need in here? We need to continue on with uh, science and stuff because they're ponderers, aren't they? So let's have a look. We could put uh, plus 20 if there's one critter by Oticum in the biome. Plus ten if there's a mineral, so we could put uh, we could put Jeroba in there and get plus ten food. Um, I reckon if we put that in there, right? Did we manage to put that in there? Oh, it's already been placed there. And then if we put that there then that will actually get a, a gold bonus coming off as well. So. There we go. Extra gold. Snakes are in. Uh, is it is it putting this in? Or what? <laughs> Check him out. Is he going to go out and get... <laughs> He's very excited that there's some snakes out there. Time has come for a new era. All right, lovely, calm era. Uh, humanity advances to the next era, but not with a particular inspiration or goal in mind. An opportunity for you to focus on improving their prosperity. Era quest. Um, three settlements. Help humanity settle at your own pace and have 30 on the planet. Confirm. Hmm. Minerals are going to lead the part to the path forward. Oh, have ten of that on the planet, on the planet, on the planet, and have four minerals on the planet. You unlock the iron bi bioticum. Great Forge. The inventor builds the Great Forge, which multiplies the science of all minerals within borders. The Monument Age era quest build up prestige. Uh, for this historical city, the inventor has, I think that's our goal. The inventor has eight. Uh, the inventor will start the construction of a monument that gives five gold for each city on the planet that is smaller than the inventor city. So you would need to, if, you, if you're creating a whole pile of cities on the planet, you would need those cities to actually be smaller. So you'd need to strategize that as well. Uh, Neolithic Revolution. Have cities with three people or, or population of three. Have five unique plants on the planet. And it gives you a farming revolution. So you can have a look at these planets. 
Hmm. So different. Uh, yeah. There you go. Look here. Open the planet shop where you can invest, gain stats to obtain unique resources. Let's not. Uh, let's not. Let's not do that yet. I actually, we have to go back. So what are we gonna do? Harm era. We want. Uh, help humanity settle at your own pace and have 30 on the planet to be able to do that. Iron Age, which is medium. Yeah, I, I think we'll go Iron Age. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. So what we need to do is we really need to expand this area as well, don't we? But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this first look here, guys. Um, I hope that, uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it so far. I think it's, uh, I think it's nice to, to, uh, w when I do my first looks, I, I have two ways of going. I can, I can spend hours playing a game and research it and mess with it and all that type of stuff. Um, and come in with all of the information or I can come into the game as you guys would come into the game and, uh. And basically um, um, learn as I go and and do the tutorials and stuff. So what do these guys want? Uh, cannot control a big area. This group has set out to add new patches to the city territory. Lovely. I hope they add that patch. That would be really, really cool. So I'm not at the moment sure what's going to uh, happen with those ocean biomes. And we still need to move that up and level that up. So... Everybody's level one at the moment, but uh, it's all a matter. Were those? That's that is an empty slot. I did ask. I did ask for those uh, for those mice to be put in, didn't I? What else have we got? We've got bedrock. Um, oh, okay. So we've got a gate now, which gives an output of fifteen. Uh, 15 coin. And we've got iron. Uh, so that gives us plus 5 science for each iron in this biome. Available on all land biomes. So we could probably throw that in here maybe. I don't think there's any, any places that give us it... Uh, that gives us any real bonus so but anyway guys <laughs> this is it um reus reus Rus, two however you would like to pronounce it um i hope that you guys have actually enjoyed it and um yeah don't forget that there's a link below and uh that you can um i don't think we can do that at the moment um, don't forget that there is a link below and that, uh, that you guys can, uh, can get your hands on a copy. 10% off the price at the moment. So thank you so much for watching. It's an interesting little, uh, kind of city buildery kind of thing where your population does all the building and stuff without you and, uh, you inspire them to do things by, uh, by what you place in the um, in the in the ground, or what you place within your biome. So, there you go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.